Before we begin, quick little fun fact here is that you can enter your uniformation right from the, the overworld by simply pressing X. You don't have to open up the main menu, it doesn't tell you this on the main screen, but it's really nice. Right, this is going to be our new kill team. Of importance are three units, Hilda, Gilbert, and any which will do. I have Prim as our fourth unit just because, for law reasons, having Hilda and Prim together are very nice, but honestly, Prim can be replaced by anyone. It's more the items that are important on this fourth unit. First things first, let's start off with Hilda. Initially, when you first get Wyvern Knights, they seem kind of lackluster compared to what you already have in the form of Griffin Knights. Griffin Knights have high swing where they can attack an entire row of enemies. Wyvern Knights only get something as simple as a diving thrust which attacks a single enemy. However, this changes once you complete Drakenhold and you are able to buy the Dragoon's War Spear. For only about, I think, 10,000, it gives you... 15 HP, 5 initiative, 20 physical attack, that's great and all, but it also gives you the 2 AP action Dragoon Dive, which has 100% physical potency, 100% hit rate, does 50% more potency versus ground-based targets, and it attacks all enemies, all 6 in theory, you can only go up to 5, but it attacks everyone, no matter the row, no matter the column. There is a caveat though, this is a charge attack, meaning that the first time it comes around to Hilda's turn, she will have to begin the charge. Then it goes through everyone's actions in the turn order and only on the second turn does she get to go off and use this Dragoon Dive. This can be solved by an item on our fourth unit called the White Cat Ear Hood, which costs 20 Divine Shards at the Angel Shop. Again, by the time you finish Dragon Hold, you should be very close to being able to uh, buy this. What this does is it costs 4, AP, uh, 4 PP rather, and it gives you 1 PP already. So. You can just slot on a Lapis Pendant and also a Dragon Bone Weapon, which gives 1, P, uh, 1 PP at the cost of minus 10 initiative as well. Or you can do what I did and just promote Prim because, I mean, both of them together, right? I have also promoted Hilda. You'll see why in just a second. Quick Impetus allows an ally to act again right after they use a skill. So if we make this prior, oh, not prioritize, but only activate on a flyer, that means that as soon as Hilda begins her charge, we will activate Quick Impetus and immediately allow her a second turn, which would be the attacking portion of that charge attack. This will also give them plus one AP. So since Hilda is a promoted unit now, which again, very important, not only does this give her plus one AP, so a base of two, we can give her a Cornelian Pendant to give her three AP, and then with that fourth AP from Quick Impetus, we can now technically speaking, Dragoon Dive twice. Now, obviously Quick Impetus only will work on that first Dragoon Dive, so how do we fix this? Well, firstly, we want to make sure that uh, Hilda can go first. That is what Gilbert is here for. We have stacked a lot of initiative on Gilbert. We have Royal Saber, which is plus 5 initiative. Dove Plume, plus 10. You can buy this from many places in Drakenhold. And a Raven Plume, which is plus 15. This is a bit overkill. I think Gilbert is still going to be pretty fast. This item you get at the, not the start, but relatively early on when somebody joins you in the Elfheim region. Now, with him having 50 initiative, he is more than likely going to be going first, which means he can use Rapid Order at the start of battle, granting all allies plus 20 initiative, which means Hilda will be more than likely moving early on before the enemies. He also has Offensive Order, which grants all allies plus 20 attack. This is not for one attack. This is a permanent plus 20, so Hilda can benefit from that. However, let's say they do all of that. Hilda then charges up her Dragoon Dive. We go Quick Impetus. What happens then? If for whatever reason they can somehow survive, we have Ice Conferral here on Rosaline, our generic witch. This comes from the Frost Brand Tome, which is 2 magic attack and 2 PP for Ice Conferral. What that does is it adds a magic damage and also freeze to an ally's next attack. Freeze is a permanent, well not really permanent, but they will stay frozen until they are attacked again or until it is healed by somebody else. So that is why you'll see uh, I don't have an attack on our witch here, and I don't have attacks on Gilbert. Because the only person who should attack is Hilda. Because here's what, how it's going to work. Dragoon Dive 1 gets ready to go. We quick impetus, Hilda goes for the attack, we apply the Ice Conferral, they all get frozen, ideally. Then, it goes through everybody's turn, nobody does anything, because they're all frozen and we have no actions. Then Hilda's quote-unquote third turn comes around, she prepares Dragoon Dive again, nothing happens, Everybody goes through their turn again. Hilda does the whole wait, but nobody's doing anything, so she has time to wait. By the time it comes to her fourth turn, 
that is where the Dragoon Dive can then finish off any stragglers. Now, for that second Dragoon Dive, we won't have Ice Conferral again. Instead, what we will have is Gilbert here with a Gambler's Coin. What this does is it has Inspiration and it grants 30% attack and 50% crit damage, although at the cost of minus 50% accuracy. However, this is where the other two item slots on Hilda come in. Wyvern Reigns is an item you get in Dragonhold as well, in one of the big liberation quests, about level 15 or so. What this does is, again, it gives plus 3 initiative, helping her move first, and it also makes the user's next attack a true strike at the cost of 1 PP. So this means that you cannot miss, well, also that first attack will get Ice Conferral, so you shouldn't miss, but if there are any, say, scouts or something with evade, this will allow you to hit them. And it also gives a 20% attack bonus if you're at 100% HP. You should be at 100% because ideally, they do not attack you first, and hopefully they do not have a support ranger or support magic to chip you down at the start of that. Next up, we also have a mercenary eye patch to give a plus 20% crit rate. Now, coming back to this Gilbert, the reason why we have zero PP on inspiration here is because only one trigger can act at a time. So, on Hilda's first Dragoon Dive, she is going to prepare an attack. Both Gilbert and Rosaline will see, oh, an ally is preparing a physical attack, and they will both want to buff Inspiration and Ice Conferral. But because Gilbert's initiative is faster, he would in theory go first, which means that we don't get that freeze off. So instead, we have Inspiration at 0 PP. That will allow us to ensure that we only use Inspiration for her second Dragoon Dive. I will say, however, this team is incredibly strong. Ideally, you one-shot them with that first attack from Dragoon Dive and all of those attack buffs, with some crits maybe if you're lucky. If they do somehow survive the Ice Conferral, then ideally the second attack will come through. This is all banking on the fact that either they die on the first turn or they all get frozen for the second to come through. This team has a weakness in the form of blocking. Specifically, when you have a fighter or a hoplite block somebody else in the back row. Because them covering for that other unit means that they actually do not get hit at all and they do not get frozen either which means that they could have a chance to then follow up and either hit Hilda, hit anybody in the back row, or just do a lot of damage. Hey there, it's me from the future. Uh, so ignore everything I just said. You can have an attack from the witch, specifically have her use her default attack of Ice Bolt and make sure that it is targeting anybody that is not frozen. This can help you deal with anybody that gets guarded. Of course, this only deals with one person, and also this assumes that the witch is faster than them. Like, for example, here, where you will see Ice Bolt will able to deal with Bernice in the back, who would have been able to move and uh, maybe even wipe out our whole team, which allows us to then go for the regular second Dragoon Dive, as if everybody was frozen the first time. Alright, cool. This could work as a three-unit team by, let's say, you don't have Ice Conferral here. You could just have Hilda, Prim, and Gilbert, and hope that you KO on the first attack. The Freeze is just there to allow you to go for a follow-up attack. You can see here, Prim only has three pieces of equipment, so if you were to equip a Dragon Bone Staff here to increase AP, uh, PP plus one, you don't need Prim to be promoted. And Hilda also, uh, if you're only going to go for one attack, one Dragoon Dive, you don't have to have her promoted as well. It just helps out for damage. I will say, this team can be made stronger by not using Hilda, because Hilda's growth types are defensive and guardian. If you use a generic unit and make your own Wyvern Master with like double offensive, That'll be a lot more uh, damaging than this. But I like using Hilda because I like using Uniques. And also, these two go together very nicely. But uh, that is the uh, the one-shot team. It's, uh, I don't know if it's, it's, it's nice once you get to Drakenhold. I'm sure, though, as more things come up, we'll get a better team. So for now, though, that is my new go-to one-shot kill squad. Once again, thank you all for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this team. And hopefully you're enjoying Unicorn Overlord as much as I am. If you have any interesting teams of your own, why not leave them in the comments for other people to try out themselves? Until next time though, peace.